In this video, we take you guys to Chappie Shasta OHV area and we discover all the discovery points. and this is my husband Nathan. This is our channel for the love of knobs. Make sure you subscribe so we can take you along on all of our adventures. This weekend we went down to Chappie, Chappie Shasta ORV. I came down on my 350 because we wanted to see what the trails were like. Didn't know what to expect. Nathan's on his 790 because he's not scared of anything. <laughs> <laughs> we're exploring Lake Shasta area and it's so pretty and it's got orange dirt. <laughs> <laughs> You're goofball. This is our first view. We've got Mount Shasta up there. We've got uh, Lake Shasta here. We've got trail number 18. Uh, I'm riding the wrong bike for this. <laughs> I've got the 790 here. Why don't we have the 790 here, Chris? Uh, because you like big bikes and you do not lie. <laughs> <laughs> and when we got here, we found out there were eight discovery points to check out. So we made it our mission to try all eight discovery points. We actually started with the first six that were not on Black Diamond trails to kind of get a sense of the trails. And then the last two were on Black Diamonds and we made it to all of them. <laughs> okay, this little trail has been fun. 18, I think. Um, we're going to go down it here in a second. I just went back down it and came back up just to get some pictures, but I think we're gonna ride that ridge line there up to that top part, but I am not 100% sure. So we'll find that out in a second. That looks really fun, but also maybe too much for the 790, for me on the 790. We'll see. Let's do this. This part isn't too bad, just some brain ruts and some... What makes this part challenging is that it's um, got a light layer of sand on it, so it's a little bit slidey. You have to be really careful with your momentum, your balance, and uh, making sure you don't grab too much rear brakes. If you pr apply the front brakes progressively, uh, you, can, you can do a fair bit of front braking, but you've got to do it smoothly and progressively. You've got to know that your tire is in a spot that can handle the grip. Because out here on the edge here, where there's a lot of loose stuff, it's not going to break very efficiently. It's going to slide quite a bit. We've got the uh, off-road ABS engaged. That's how you do it. Well, this is a great little spot for exploring, especially if you're on a dual sport or adventure bike, because you got all kinds of variety and scenery. Oh my gosh. Scenery for days, riding for days, all of these trails out here. It's kind of a main road with all these offshoots like this one up here that goes up to the top of that ridge line. Pretty darn steep. Uh, just stunning views out here. I'm just amazed that we came out here. And if I would have known the camping spot was so great, I would have brought the truck up here set up camp here because wow what a great spot <laughs> that was a cool slide look at those little islands i wonder what bridge that is i don't know it's beautiful up here though yeah what, what point are we at mammoth something uh mammoth butte Mammoth view. <laughs> Look at that ridgeline trail that goes all the way to the left there. That's awesome. Chris saw a sign that said one left or one right and she picked the black diamond one because she says one is left. But one went left and right. One right was the green, one left was the black diamond. So now we're going down the black diamond. What did you find, Chris? I think I found a mine. Yeah. I'm gonna go check it out. Do you want to ride down to the bottom? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. I'm just gonna see if this is it. Okay. I'm not gonna walk through. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yes. Both ways. Okay. All the ways. Some kind of a mine. It's like a gravel filter, sifter, crusher. Maybe it's a rock crusher. Yeah. What do you think it is, Chris? Yeah. It's a, yeah, or ore crusher for finding gold. <laughs> it's an ore crusher for finding gold. Yeah. Okay. And there's a fire ring. You could camp down here. Look, there's a butterfly. <laughs> You're very silly. Oh, cool. And there's a there's a creek down here too. We're tracking for sure. <laughs> Got that on video. <laughs> Are you hurt? My face look. <laughs> <laughs> Your face looks very funny. Ouch! <laughs> there we go. It's clear now. You want me to film? No. <laughs> Okay. You got this. There you go. See, you don't need help. I just like it. Oh, my face is so funny. That was funny. I was like, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your helmet start going up, but I was like, oh no. <laughs> All right, Whoa. this is adventure cut. Chris says, that was fun, except for the disaster on my face. I feel like we could go exploring around here for days. Just so many roads and trails and all kinds of stuff. It's just gorgeous out here. <laughs> just having an absolute, absolute wonderful time out here. This is the Shasta Chappy OHV area. And a lot of this stuff is like old mining roads and there's like old, uh, mule, pack mule trail roads to get out to the different mines to bring them supplies and stuff. So um, I could see also probably where there was logging out there in the past. So some of these might be logging roads, but also some of them are pretty steep and we're doing our best to ride the roads that are mo more at our skill level. Right, Chris? That's right. <laughs> That's <our> Chris's skill level. <laughs> But yeah, now we're gonna go head back down the way we came, down 32 here, hit 27, and we're gonna find our way onto the Pack Mule Trail. Is that right? Yep. For about a mile or so, we're gonna get back on the, the gra gravel road 27, head back into town, hopefully find some lunch, and then continue our adventure on after lunch. Despite how flat the uh, camera is making this look, <laughs> it is really goddamn steep. And loose too, the gravel makes it slidey. And intimidating on the big bike.
So we found a waterfall and a cave and there's the motorcycles. Let's go show you what's inside the cave. Chris is inside the cave. <laughs> it's a Chris bear. Oh, it's a mine. It's an old mine. It's like, uh, um, what are those called? Uh, the mining support beams that I can't remember the name of. Cribbing. Cribbing? That's what they're called, cribbing. Cool. That is neat. Yeah. I like exploring mines. <laughs> Very neat. That explains probably why the river is the way it is, huh? All right, we've reached the Black Diamond Quad Trail part of the journey, trying to get to viewpoint number seven, and <laughs> that's the rest of the hill climb. It looks completely flat on the camera. Behind me, I think you might be able to see the rest, like part of the hill climb, <laughs> is long. So I uh, kind of lost momentum here, and there's still more to go. So I'm gonna go back down to the bottom, get turned around, give myself a little more momentum going into it, See if I can hold second gear longer until I get to that next turn up there. And then we'll switch to first and try to make it to the top. Because I think the top is where our viewpoint is. We'll find out. All right, attempt number two. <laughs> Off the trail sideways. And there's that much more. So I'm closer this time. But it's also a hell of a lot steeper at the top. So I have to have more speed <laughs> to make it up the steep part. We'll see if we do attempt number three. Yep, I did. Alright, I'm gonna put the gas on when I'm coming up the trail part. Discovery point number seven. You're awesome, babe. I am super proud of you. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. High five. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that was all going great for like it didn't do so. That's awesome. This is how we There oh. it is. How awesome is that? Oh, happy. We did it. We found all eight discovery points, even the ones on the Black Diamond Trails. Yeah, you're awesome. You're awesome. <laughs> you're on the big bike. <laughs> I think I read somewhere before we came down here that the riding is great, but it's really the views that make it stand out. And I agree with that statement. <laughs> yeah, the views are spectacular, man. You can see all the hills and mountains and just lakes and rivers. And like, there's all kinds of geography to see here for miles and miles. Kind of the point of this whole place is to get up to climb up to the peaks. And that's what makes the riding kind of challenging is it's kind of steep, rocky riding up to the top. So when once you do get up there, oh my gosh, the views are amazing. <laughs> it's definitely a reward, isn't it? Yeah. The other cool part is there's a bunch of old mines and like uh, historic towns and stuff to discover. And that's actually part of the discovery points is you get to learn about the history of the area. We had an absolute blast down here at Chappie Shasta this weekend, and you should definitely come down and check it out when you get a chance. Yeah, the camping's great. You're close to town, but you also really get be able to get out here in the middle of nowhere and see these amazing views. Definitely, definitely come check it out. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more awesome adventures like this one. Don't forget to like this video as well. And in the comments below, let me know where you've ventured to that you were surprised. It was so awesome that you didn't expect it to be. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next ride.